as soon as I hit the last note of as long as he needs me, the reality set in and the tears started to well up. But as I started going down the stairs, I saw Andrew coming towards me. And that's when it kind of hit home that, you know, I might not be Nancy, but there could be something else for me. It's really lifted me at this time to know that there's people like Cameron and Andrew who have faith in me. The biggest highlight is probably all of us girls coming off the stage after the very first live show and just looking at each other and being in complete confusion and awe at the fact that we just sang live on TV. Probably another thing is the fact that I sang Chitty Chitty Bang Bang live on TV. I think I deserve a medal for that. <laughs> all of the girls that are left in the competition are brilliant and all of them could be Nancy. I think Rachel would make a really great Nancy. It would be great for someone from back home to win the competition. But the person that I think should win is Sam, hands down. She is so talented and she's got an unbelievable voice for the youngest person in the competition. There have been times when it has been so hard and you constantly doubt yourself. And it's not really a nice thing to stand in front of 7 million people and be criticised by judges. You know, it's not, it's not a very nice thing. But what you have to remember to do, and thankfully the Josephs reminded us of this, is that you have to soak up every moment because it could be over. I'm really excited about seeing my family and friends openly and being able to see them whenever I want. It is going to take a bit of getting used to because it's what I've been doing for the past 10 weeks and I can't really remember life before now. But the Nancy bubble has burst. From this whole experience, I will take everything that I can and just put it in a box and remember it forever. It's scary how much I've learned in the space of two months. I've learned a lot physically about my voice and how to control it, but more so I've learned a lot about myself and I've grown up. I don't feel like a 17 year old anymore. I do feel a lot older and I feel like I can conquer the world now. So I'm gonna.